Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to The Witness. So, uh, we've got a sunken boat to check out. Let's see if I can find a good... You know what? This is perfect. I always like finding a good spot to make the next thumbnail from. Uh, nor... I don't know. In a lot of games, I will, like, go out of my way to make custom thumbnails and, you know, really beautify it. I felt... I don't know. I didn't feel like it, it was really, like, necessary for this game. This game kind of stands on its own. In terms of, like, sheer just beauty, I would love to play more games that take this approach. You know, not high detailed models, not, like, truly uh, high detail textures, but just nice, bright, colorful, good detail. And, you know, screw realism, right? This game looks better than most games I have ever, I have ever played. Uh, sure, there are some games that have, like, prettier things here and there, but this game still takes the cake pretty heavily. Okay, are there even puzzles for this area, or am I just wandering around a... a busted-up ship? I might just be wandering around a busted-up ship? Oh, Halo. A ship owner was about to send to sea an emigrant ship. He knew that she was old, and not well built at the first that she had seen many seas and climbs, and often had needed repairs. Doubts had been suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. These doubts preyed upon his mind and made him unhappy. He thought that perhaps he ought to have her thoroughly overhauled and refitted, even though this should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he succeeded in overcoming these melancholy reflections he said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages and weathered so many storms that it was idle to suppose she would not come safely home from this trip also. He would put his trust in Providence, which could hardly fail to protect all these unhappy families that were leaving their fatherland to seek for better times elsewhere. He would dismiss from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of builders and contractors. In such ways, he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was thoroughly safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart and benevolent wishes for the success of the exiles in their strange new home that was to be. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that he was verily guilty of the death of those families, it is admitted that he did sincerely believe in the soundness of his ship, but the sincerity of his conviction can in no wise help him, because he had no right to believe on such evidence as was before him. He had acquired his belief not by honestly earning it in patient investigation, but by stifling his doubts. And although in the end he may have felt so sure about it that he could not think otherwise, yet inasmuch as he had knowingly and willingly worked himself into that frame of mind, he must be held responsible for it. William K. Clifford, 1874. I get the feeling this is like the bird, bird song puzzle based on noise, but it's hard to tell, and I get the feeling I shouldn't be here yet. So give me a second, I'm gonna give it a couple cracks. I'm just gonna be silent, so I might as well just try it. Yeah, it's probably based on those noises. But I'm going to give it a couple of tries silently, off camera, and we'll see if we're, if I'm right. And if I'm not, well, I don't know then. Yep, nope, I don't got it. I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I get it. I see the point of this place. Okay, so this place is a, um, is chock full of, like, the super seeker puzzles, like, right here, for example. But I need a different, like, camera angle to be even... To even be able to, like, interact with them, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I, th I think I need to be on a... B oh, I need to be on the boat to see these. Okay, yeah. So th this has a bunch of the, like, secret puzzles in it. But... Whatever. That's for later. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Let's go figure out where we need to go next. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna keep wandering on... Uh, the... Oh, let me guess. There's one or two in here, aren't there? Well, if there are, I can't tell. 
So either I need to be elsewhere, higher, or something. I don't know. Whatever. I give up. Okay, so let's let's just leave the uh, let's just leave the fort. Somebody was asking me how I got in here. I just walked in through the front door. I guess there was like a tunnely place, but still. Okay, so this this looks like something. This looks like uh, the next puzzle area we need to go to. Let's just figure out where the start is. I see a thing here, so my assumption is. It does have a time limit on it. Interesting. Okay. Well, you know what? If that door only opens from one direction, let's see what else we got around here. Who knows? There might be... Like, it might start over here. And why go through the door that closes after a little while? I don't know. It's very pretty. Oh, hi. Well, there's the laser. I don't see anything in the ways of, like, starting the puzzles, but... Kinda interesting. Let me guess, is this one... Okay, this one is not... Uh, it's some kind of... weird separation. So we don't have to worry about it there. Okay, so it's requiring me to know things that I technically already do know, which is useful. Um... Oh. Wow. Okay. That's obnoxious. So... I literally can't solve this one to be in this own, its own spot since it doesn't rotate, so we've got to fit this one in here. So what if we do... No. But it can't rotate. Huh. Interesting. Oh, because it doesn't connect there. Dang! How? Okay. I'll admit I am confused. So, like, this obviously works. This, on the other hand, doesn't. Because it doesn't... It can't, and it doesn't rotate. And I can't just do this, because that doesn't work. Um... So, if we do it like that, there's one. How do we fit the other one in in such a way that they... Oh, I got it. There we go. I just was placing them together wrong. Negative space and whatnot. Also, that water was really loud. Alright, so let's wander around until we find something useful. Uh, looks like some kind of quarry business. I guess it makes sense. Okay, it looks like we're supposed to go in here somewhere. Um, nope, that doesn't look useful. Okay, so the door's open. We've got flowing water here. We've got some kind of bridge across. Okay, let's head for the lumber mill looking thing. Maybe that does what we need it to do. Alternatively, it doesn't look active. Dang. Wait. It does. Sort of. There's one puzzle up here that we can get to. Somehow? You can summon the boat. Okay. So, I... What was that noise? I don't know. I don't... How's that even supposed to fit? Alright. I don't know if this is supposed to... Oh! We can go down. Okay, this is... This is different. And... Tits. <laughs> Ow! Um... So this is... This is... I'm familiar with these. Unfortunately, these ones are particularly mean. Okay. Um. Wow. 
Okay. That's not gonna work. Whoa. Nope, that's not gonna. Mm. No, that's not gonna work. What if it's like this and then this? No, that's not gonna work. Damn it. Because, okay. I, I mean, I, I, I need to do these. All right, so I've I've got some like drawings here, kind of on the side. Um, but so let's just do this one. So it's like this over around. Yeah. Okay. I think I can do this. So we need to keep all these things separate from each other, but it's actually not as bad as you think it would be. So something like that. That that'll work, right? No, yes. Hot damn. Alright, so there's one. And then this one... Um, oh, wait, no, this is easier than I thought it is. This one's just negative space. Um, so like that? There we go. Okay, I don't even know what I did, but uh, I was just building it wrong. I was trying to encompass it one way and not the other. It's a bad habit to the way I visualize things. Okay, so what's this? What do you want? Well, that works. Oh, this brings us up. Like, this is this is a ramp to get up to the next area. I got it. Just gonna keep doing that. Okay. So... I honestly have no idea how this one's supposed to be solved. Let's try something. Let's try something crazy. Okay, let's keep trying crazy things. What does that mean? Um, I feel like I need to come back here later. I, I feel like there's got to be something that... Oh, hey! Uh, I feel like there's got to be something that explains how that one works. Better than me just guessing guessing the mechanic. But it looks like I've I missed two puzzles over here that specifically show me what to do. That puzzle's on the wrong side. However, we've got this one here. Okay. Well, this looks familiar. Um... Oh, I got it. Um. Huh. Okay. So what if we just approach from the other direction? I wonder... I, I'm mainly wondering, is this one of those where this is the puzzle, depending on which... Uh, direction the pip is pointed, it, um, it opens or closes the door. That's my, that's going to be my operational assumption for the time being. Easy peasy. Okay, I don't know if that's the case or not, but I don't think we need to worry about opening or closing the door either. So I guess there's just alternate solutions there. This is a loud area. Just saying. Alright, whatever. We're making progress here. So now what? Uh, well, we can get the door open. Though it feels silly to need to. We can get that door open, which actually probably, whoa. Probably matters more. So there's a dude walking through here in a weird outfit and he's got a dove on his arm. Yeah, we've got several statues, several missing statues. And a thingy. Is that guy holding a dove? So maybe all the statues we've been run into haven't been petrified people at all, but have been something completely different. That worked? Oh! I ain't gonna question it, but holy crap is that loud. Guess we just have to deal with it. Dang. What if I don't want to? Weird. Uh, 
I I guess I get it. So effectively, the um the white thing. Oh, I see. We'll cancel out a dot as long as it's in the same area. I got it. That's interesting. Oh, but this one doesn't have it. Um. Okay, easy enough. Uh, huh. Okay. No, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. These are interesting, I will- I will grant. They're a little mean. Eh, who am I kidding? They're very mean. Yeah, that's not gonna work. It only manages to cancel out one of the dots. Okay, so we need it. It's probably this one that we need a l No, it's not. Okay, um... No, this doesn't work. Dang it. I was really hoping that I could get some of the other ones, but we've got to go this way first. But I was thinking, what if we leave this one for the dot thing, but it doesn't work, because I end up trapping myself in here. So i got to loop through like that. Unless I do this. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. This won't work. Because it, it can't cancel anything out. It's not the same zone as. Okay. Ow. Balls. Um. So, it'd be nice if we could, like, loop up and around like this and go down this way. But that doesn't work. And we can't... We can't fit most of these in. And I can't do something like that, because that, of course, isn't going to work. Huh. Wait, what if... What if the point is, it doesn't need to cancel something out? out? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Got it. Alright, um... Okay, so we got that taken care of, we got that running, though I think it cancelled the one thing out. So that does something. Okay, that's raising a lift. Oh, I see. I didn't realize it at first, but this one raised this lift up. Or... Oh... I understand. So I'm going to lower that one back down. It's a shortcut of sorts. But I need to be able to get on it. And I'm not going to be able to get on it from... I see. Okay, the this is really loud. And hard to listen to, but yeah. So we have to take this one up, then take the lift the other way. I see how it works, but boy. Noises. But yeah, I can I can do that from there. That'll cancel that lift on that side, but that's okay. And we can just hop on this as it goes up. And then we can go around. Okay, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. I like it. The machinery is interesting. Can't interact from there? Yeah, it's too far away. Sometimes it can. I might be able to, but I'm going to be like right over there soon enough anyway. Okay, let's see. Oh, these are to control those lifts manually if I want to. Okay, so we've got to do this. So my assumption is this isn't going to work. 
Will that work? Yes. Okay. So the... The white thing will cancel out one dot. One erroneous dot there. Makes sense. And as long as you do that, it works. Okay. Of course, it gets harder. Um... Well... That leaves us with one. Actually, come to think of it, we don't need to leave that one there. We can do this. There we go. Uh, let's see. This one's much the same. We just have to extend it over a bit. This one's interesting. Okay. Actually, this one's really easy. They're all pretty easy, honestly. Uh, so as long as we appease the thing, it's okay. That's not gonna work. Um, what if it's something like this? No. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. We could do that. That's not gonna work. Um, that's not gonna work. So we need to figure out how to divide and conquer here. Actually, that that's it. <laughs> I like it when I accidentally solve a thing. It feels good. Oh, okay. So now we have to decide... Oh, here's the start. Oh, that's annoying. Um, never mind, that's actually pretty clever, I like that. Okay, so what did we just power up? I actually can't tell you. And I don't seem to have any means of advance here, so I guess I'm going to have to go back and manipulate the, uh, the ramps to get down. Because it's not as hard as it looks. I could just lower the ramp from here. Uh, and get off. Yeah? Because what's the thing that got turned on? Nothing I can reach normally. Okay. So we'll just lower that one down and then I'll... By reach... Raise the ramp. Because I don't... I didn't see any other chambers around there. Oops. We don't want to miss that. There we go. Uh, so we're this, and then we just raise this one up too. Beautiful. Okay, I like this. This is, this is clever, but we're not spending too much time messing around with it. Unfortunately, we have to wait for these really slow ramps and stuff to go. I would actually really like to see this these kind of puzzles make it into other games as well. Like, I'd actually really like to see, say, I don't know, Half-Life include puzzles of this caliber occasionally. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I guess I like this better than a number of also, uh, other, puzzles, other puzzles that make it into games. So this just brings me back to the desert area. Oh, interesting. So if I'd gone this direction, it would have actually brought me here. That's neat. Um, in retrospect, my screenshot from earlier it was meaningless because that was the boat. So I'll take one of that area. So we got to figure out... Oh, hey. Oh, is this an elevator? It probably is. Okay. I'll be on it. I just want to see where this leads me. It's probably just a shortcut from point A to point B. Why would that matter, though? I don't know. River's really pretty in this game. The, uh, this game does water really well. It's like partly cartoony, but it just, it looks nice. I don't know, all of this game looks gorgeous. Oh, that's a super puzzle. Ah, I got it.
Because I can't interact with it. But then it's got the tracks. Huh, interesting. Alright, I'll figure that one out later. Either way, the elevator really hasn't done me a whole lot of good, considering I'm just going to be taking the stairs back up. Interesting that it's there, though. Oh, for the super puzzles, do I have to be, like, over here-ish? Like, even further? Or maybe on a ramp? Or, oh, maybe on the second floor there? I don't know. That's an interesting question. Either way, let's follow the power line. Oh, which apparently has powered the elevator? Weird. Well, it looks like we found our box, so let's go this direction. Now, is this powered on? Okay, it does look like the, uh, it does look like the laser's been powered. Oh. Ah, nuts. Okay, so I've got a... Oh! Wait, but we know how to solve it now. Okay, so that's good. Let's see, anything over here? No. So we gotta go back and uh, solve the lumber mill. To get it to work, too. And if we don't do that, then um, we can't operate the laser. That makes sense. I like that. Of course, now we gotta go back and... Oh, that light there is also another super puzzle. Uh, <laughs> I am seeing them everywhere now. And I'm solving none of them because I'm criminally lazy. Oh, interesting. That means whatever puzzles up in the, like, foresty area is a completely separate deal. Interesting. Okay. So we know that... Oh. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Um, actually, no, this is really easy. So, instead of blocking out just one of the pips, it blocks out all of them. Madness. I like that. I, that that makes this a hell of a lot easier, though. I will admit. Um, wait, that didn't work. Why not? For all intents and purposes, that should have worked. Why? What? Because that covers that one, and then this gets the others. Oh, because this one is being considered. That's the issue. The problem is, no matter what, this one needs to be deleted. We just gotta figure out a way of... Okay, fine. Yeah, so if I fit this in and it qualifies, it can't, it can't be deleted no matter what. That's... interesting and obnoxious. But it's life, I guess. Okay. So if I could do something like that, that would almost work. Problem is, it's not going to. Um. Huh. There's a lot of open space here and very, very few constraints. Ideally, I'd like to stack two of the shapes together to form a square. Uh, but that won't work no matter what. Because we could have this this one go here and this one go here, but there's no way you can have a separate square shape. Because, like, you can't do this. Ah, nuts. And it throws me back a bit. Okay, hold on then. I've got it. I'm dumb. So, I, I, I'm only thinking in squares here, which is stupid. There's another shape that you can you can make with these things. You can make this. Because one, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, so that lowers a thing. Which lets me get over here, which lets me come to this. Okay. So we've got a ton of two shapes. Which I guess is fairly obvious. What does that do? Moves the ramp. 
You know, I'm just gonna ride the ramp to justice because I bet this gets me past the uh, lumber claw. Unless it gets stuck on something, at which point that would be inconvenient. But I, I bet we're supposed to ride the ramp here. Yep. Cool. Okay. So let's go back up in here. Let's see. Oh, hello. So we got a whole second section here. So that. Oh, that opens up a shortcut. Okay, that makes sense. So now we've got three of these. We can only have two. Delete some from there. Three of these can only have two. Delete some from there. What? What? You didn't like that. Oh, because it's not in the same area. Nope, that didn't work either. Um. Unless... This one's a different color. There we go. Okay. So we've got this. They can't all be together. But they need pairs. There's five. So we need to do... Okay. So we need to do this. That'll work. There we go. Yeah. We just had to count the pairs, so it's got to be orange again. Um... That worked works and is interesting. Oh, but they nullify each other. Or, oh. There we go. So they, you can't have two of the nullifiers in the same setup here, otherwise it won't work. Interesting. Okay. Let's do that. Do that. Do that. Nope, that's not gonna work. Um The obvious solution would to be include the deleter here and cr cut that off, but that's not gonna work. What if we did like this? No, that's not gonna work either. Unless what we did do amounted to something like this? No, that's not gonna work either. I don't know why, but this game makes me feel really sleepy as I go along. Uh, that's why a lot of my episodes are just kind of, uh, you know, just section by section and I record daily. Because I actually find myself just getting tired as I go along here. This this game just saps my mental energy. It's so calming. Just trying to figure out how to solve them. That it, it becomes almost mind-boggling. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Oh, pff, I'm dumb. Okay, so here we go. So we cut that section off because it's got the three. We got come down here, we cut this off. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, this is in much the same vein. We're making it work. Okay. Uh, so what doesn't work here? Well, we've got to we've got to fit the 4 and then the 3 together. And then the this. The 4 and the 3, but I mean we pretty much have to we have to have the have we have to have the 4 crossed here. So what we need to do is something like this. Which would work if it didn't trap me. So what if we went around the other way? There we go. Okay. And then we've got the four across the three up. However, that's not going to work. Because there's no odd number of purples. Okay, so that brings us over here. Which gives us one to leader, two threes, 
three threes, but one's rotated, and the purple. Well, the purple needs to be deleted, so we've got to figure out how to fit all of these in the same shape. Well, actually, no, this works great. So we do one up o over here, loop around this way, come back down, ba bam. Okay. This one's kind of the same deal, but less effective. So for this one, what we need to do is go up, over, nope, and around. Okay. I'm feeling clever now. This screws it. So we've got one deleter. We can have a pair. Unless... Huh. So we've got one deleter. We can have two pairs here. So the sensible option would be to somehow delete like the three tall or whatever, but that's not going to work. We can't delete any of the purple, so it's got to be one of the shapes. But it's not going to work unless I fit everything in. And I can't just do like this, because I'm currently not even encompassing the, the shape proper. Um, maybe I'm thinking about the... Yep, I'm thinking about this the wrong way. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Uh, this works. There we go. Because, yeah, this way, this way we get everything in, and what's this one up with? So we've got a bunch of ones. Wouldn't it just be really easy to just do that? There we go. And now we've got some kind of grabby claw moving over to that side. Which goes out. Does it, like, break something? No. So we've moved the grabby claw out. What was the point of that? Maybe that wasn't the point of that. Maybe... We're supposed to pick something up? I feel like we're supposed to pick something up here. Because let me see. What have you done? You're just outside. There's no real point for that. Huh. I'm gonna mess with that one a little bit. We might have actually powered it. We might be done with the puzzle. But it does feel like... Let's try something else. Um... Try like this. What does that do? So that brings it back. Is this supposed to be there for like a... a super heat... super hidden puzzle? You know what? I give up. I got it right, and then I got it right again, and then it doesn't matter, probably. Let's get out of here. So we've got a boat, we've got this little passageway, but this does nothing for me. Okay, well that's fine. I don't think it matters. Let's just get out of here. I get the feeling I'm, like, missing out on something major by not doing these things right. I already got these, right? Yeah, so... Weird. Like, I feel like I'm just given a bunch of, like, extraneous puzzles for no other reason than because... Puzzles, which I guess I can't fault the game too much for, but I would like to know who, what, when, where, why, how, whatever. Which is interesting. Oh, shoot. Did I mess a puzzle up there? I did. Well, you know what? Win in Rome. We've already got the ramp up. We might as well check to see what it is. Come on. I feel, I feel like... Whatever it is, it can't be it can't be meaningful. But there's totally a puzzle panel over there that I don't think I solved. Oh, oh, oh I got it. Come on, let me up. There we go. I think I know where it is. I think I know where, who, what, when, why, how. Yep, thought so. Okay. Uh, so where's the start? There's the start. Um. No, that's not going to work.
Well, that worked, and now we've got stairs. Okay, so that was meaningless, but puzzles! Okay, let's go solve that laser puzzle. And I think we're done with the quarry and the lumber mill. In the same go. I guess they're really just one entire place. There's still some, like, very unanswered questions around here. But, you know what, I assume we will answer them at a later date. Probably. Watch this game have, like, multiple endings or something, that'd be really annoying. Alright, uh, hi. So we've got... A two and a one. And a... Yeah. That's totally it. Alright, so there's the next laser. We are done. This is a pretty good screenshot spot as well. Gets probably a better look at things. The other one gets a good look at the fall forest, but, uh... Well. God, I love the forest in this game. They're done particularly gorgeously. I'm just gonna take some screenshots while we're here and we wait for the laser. Like, I would love to see more games that just follow in this visual style. I don't know, like, this... Imagine more, like, if every game looked like this. Like, I can't imagine this took a whole lot of work. Comparatively. I feel like, uh, there are a lot of other games that have much, much more complicated, you know, like, visual styles. And, like, requirements that look so much worse than this. I don't know. It's an interesting question. I'd love to have an answer for that. Either way, though, I will see you guys on the next episode of The Witness. And, as always, thanks for watching. I think we only have one left. We might, we might be getting close to the end. Probably not. He said there was, like, 100 hours of gameplay in here. And I'm at, like, what? 10? 15? Oh, hi. I still can't get it. Is there, like, an aerial view at some point? I don't even know. There's so many puzzles.